I've been waiting for this box for a long time. A long time, not only for the box, but what's inside it. And trying to find the right thing inside it. What do I mean? A thermal imaging camera that connects to a phone and a laptop. I've got a whole bunch of things I'm going to test with this. Remember those hand warmers and how they didn't seem like they were all even across? Well, we're going to find that out. How well insulated is my house? We're going to find out a whole bunch of stuff if this camera works as advertised. So let's go to a top-down shot and check this thing out. This is an honest review. I paid for this product with my own money. I think I paid on sale around $220 for this. And they've really come down a lot over the years. And they're getting better and better. First thought, presentation's nice. It's kind of got that Apple feel, right? Everything's got to be, ooh. Look at that. It's so good, it doesn't come out of the box. First challenge is, huh, well, that means I might have to take the phone out of the case, which is a bit of a drag. There is a bit of a gap right here that's pushed all the way in, so depending on how thick your phone is, it may or may not require you to take the case off. We got a nice little cleaning cloth and an extension cord. So USB-C, male, female. The cord itself looks pretty high quality and it's probably a data cord as opposed to just a charging cord. And the little container you put it in is pretty good. The one I got is space gray but the product on the outside is blue. And the space gray, the reason why I got that is it was on sale for $219 and the blue one was $10 more. So TC01 app install. I always read the privacy policy. You can usually opt out of certain things like harassment on your email account. Take pictures and record video. Well, uh, access to music and audio on this level? No, don't need music. Thermal imaging, thermal monitoring, gallery, personal information. Actually, I'm going to have it go the other way. Don't allow music. I don't know why you need music. In there, a little wobbly. Put my hand up there. Wow, that's cool. I'll put my hand here and see if the heat transfers to my pad. <laughs> There's a lot of fun that's going to happen with this thing. When I did the test before on these, I had a thermometer sensor. But I wasn't really happy with the results. I was thinking that the outside is a different temperature than the middle. So let's validate that now with this. So here's number one, and it's in C. I think I could convert it to F if I wanted to. It seems like there's concentric circles that are occurring. This is the second level, and then this is the third level. Well, let's turn it over and see if the back is heating. You can kind of almost see the electronics. Even though it was full to the touch, there is a little bit of heating going on with the components or the electrical card on the inside. Trying out different things, personal information, temperature correction, temperature units, Celsius and Fahrenheit. I'm going to go with Fahrenheit. Temperature correction. I guess if you wanted to take out ambient temperature or room temperature, you could do that. And then there's a whole bunch of different options here. Wet soil, glass, red brick skin, calibration, version. I'm presuming that it's up to date. The bright yellow is 96.8, 96.9. The reddish areas are 68 degrees. It looks like the center is reporting 87.9. When you plug this in, it will take you right to the software and all my thermal glory. You can tilt the camera on the side and get a landscape view 
as opposed to a portrait view. The more I think about it, the less I'm going to use the laptop because it's cumbersome. So we're going to see if we can take some recording, show you some things around the house. I've been using this thing for a couple days now and some thoughts. Thermal imaging is okay. Temperature and monitoring, haven't tried that yet. Gallery, here is a picture. Here is some videos. Just pull it up. There's a picture. Here's a video. Here's a picture of two compact fluorescents. Kind of a choppy audio. There's some comments that once you shut the app down, you lose the gallery. So we're going to first check to see it's in my photos. And it is. All the pictures and video that you took on the phone is there. That's a good thing. We'll go back into the app and see if the gallery's there. And it is. There is some quirkiness in the app I wanted to point out to you. These are the permissions you need to give. Camera, makes sense if you're gonna take a picture. Microphone, photos, and video. I tried taking music and audio out and it just wouldn't record. All four of these need to be allowed in order for you to take video and pictures. So I've been thinking about this for a bit. This is an honest review. Top Don didn't pay me a nickel to do this review. I wanted a thermal camera for a whole bunch of ideas that I have going on with the channel. But would I buy it? I'm right on the fence right now. It's a compact package, easy to take around. I mean, I like the oversized container and it's got a certain level of crush protection on it. It's fun to look at thermal images, but the software quirks both on the app and on the laptop, it's just subpar. Insta360 cameras are like that too. Great hardware products, kind of easy to use a little bit on the app, but when you go to process and actually do something with the video or the pictures, the pain in the asset is pretty high. I'm gonna test this out a little bit more. Fortunately, I'm in that Amazon golden window of time around the holidays where between November and December, if you buy something, you can return it up to the 31st of January. So I'll probably have a follow-on video on this one and tell you whether or not I'm returning it because I want to be honest with you. But right now, kind of on the fence. So we'll see how it goes. If you want a thermal camera, the price is pretty hard to beat. They've come down a lot. But again, topped on. What the heck with the software and the integration? The human interface piece is sometimes the most important part. Hardware and software companies kind of forget that sometimes. And this is one of those times. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in evaluations of all sorts of electronics gear, making and breaking things, Designs of all kinds. I do sports design and evaluations. I even do costumes, cosplay, and props. Check out my channel and please subscribe because you never know what product you're going to see.